I was a fellow community college physical therapist assistant program, and this is showing how to go up and down stairs with a variety of equipment for different types of diagnoses. Um, this is for both the 110 class as well as the two, uh, one, 110 class and the 121 class in the summer. Um, so we're going to start, start, first start off with crutches. And let's say the patient is not in weight bearing. Okay, I'll do my demonstrations first, so that's what I'm going to do. And then in a minute, we'll show how to take the patient up and down with gardening. So if you have a non-weight bearing patient, let's say my right leg is not involved for my involved sore leg. I'm going to crutch this forward, step two. When I get to the stair, I'm going to step up with my strong leg, strong leg, and then crutches. The basic gait pattern, the basic gait pattern is to bring both crutches up at the same time. If you need to regress, patients having difficulty, bring the foot up and then one crutch and the other crutch. The other alternative to that, if the patient's having balance problems, have the patient hold on to the rail, bring the extra crutch around, kind of find a balance point, and then when the, when the patient puts the weight on this crutch, be sure that the weight is on the palm, not on the thumb, because you can sprain the thumb. Okay. Um, at this point then I would use my hand on this side, my crutch on the other side, and my foot up, and my hands. Okay. Foot and my hands. Once I get here, bring that crutch around. Patient wants to turn with the strong side toward the wheelchair, so I'm going to swing out so I can do a nice big circle. Using my gait pattern I would use on the level ground to turn. So it would be my regular swing too. For going down, um, you're going to have your crutches go down first because that's going to help protect everything. So crutches go down first, and then I want you to make a big point about the hips coming forward. Your legs should be forward, and then stepping down. If you don't do the hips forward like that, what happens is the patient tries to hop from here, and it's a lot scarier and a lot more dangerous. Okay? So it should be crutches down, hips forward, and then a nice gliding step down. Crutches hips forward, step down. Okay, so that would be the best way to do it for non-weight bearing. A couple weeks later, the patient is now partial weight bearing, so she's going to be using the three-point gait because we have one leg worse than the other, also called the protective extremity gait pattern. So crutches, the weak foot between them, step two. Okay. When you get to this point, um, there's a saying that is used in a lot of physical therapy departments. Um, it's the good go to heaven, the bad go the other way. I'm not trying to convert anybody, but most people have the concept of heaven is up, the other way is down. Um, so we're trying to associate their good leg as going up first, okay, as though it's going to heaven. So make sure you kind of associate that with your feet. So the good go to heaven, the bad go the other way. So my good foot goes up first, my weight is on my hands so that my sore leg is protected. Then I bring my sore leg up because as I bring my crutches up, the sore leg is protected by the strong leg. Okay, so I never leave that sore leg unprotected. So good foot, sore foot, crutches. Good foot, sore foot, crutches. Again, I would do my turn so that I'm going with my strong side toward the wheelchair. So the inside of the turn. And coming down partial weight bearing, the crutches. Now remember the good go to heaven, the bad go the other way. So the bad foot leads down, and then the other foot. Crutches, weak foot, strong foot. Okay, if the patient's doing really well, you can progress by doing crutches and weak foot together, and then strong foot. Okay. If the patient uses a walker, okay, let's say the patient's non-weight bearing using a walker, we're going to bring the walker forward. Okay. The patient needs to get balanced on the one foot because you don't want to take one hand off the walker if there's a lot of weight on the hands. So put most of the weight on that foot. Use the rail over here. The other hand is going to put the walker in this position so the two of the side legs are up and the other two are down. It does not matter if the back of the walker is toward me or if the front of the walker is toward me. Either way is fine. Okay, 
So once they have that, then this is going to be, the upper one is going to be the belly handle hanging on to because that's going to be the sturdy one. So they can be a little bit closer, and then they're going to um, lead up with a strong leg, okay, and then bring the walker up. Strong leg, and the hands, strong leg, hands, strong leg. Okay, and we're going to bring the walker up the rest of the way. Again, my weight is on my hand here. And then I'm going to do the same turn like I did before with the strong leg to the inside of the turn, which means my strong leg is toward the wheelchair. Okay, somewhat close to the edge, take the weight off my hands, balance on my foot as I hold on to the weight. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit closer. And then I'm going to get my hands even, um, make sure my sore foot is forward and lower down. Hands, lower down. Hands, lower down. And when I get to the bottom, I'll just bring that right in front of me. Okay, the other type of walker you may see on stair climbing is this type. It's called a stair climbing walker. And you can see it has an extra set of handles here. So there's one, two, three, four handles. With this one, I'll do this one partial weight bearing, but I also could do it non-weight bearing. And with this one, you bring the walker forward just like before. Okay, so my right leg is still my sore leg. Again, take the weight off your hands, kind of um, balance on the one foot as you bring your hand to the rail. Then I'm going to bring this all the way around and put it so that the what would have been the back legs are now up on the next stair. Okay, at that point, I can switch my hands and put them onto these handles. You're always going to look for the handles that are the flat handles to use. If I were on the regular ground, it would be these. Going up the stairs, it would be these. Okay, so as I'm going up, remember the good go to heaven, so my good leg goes up first, then my weak foot, and the walker. And again, bring that walker up so it's against the riser, which is the upright part of the stair. Weak, strong foot, weak foot, walker. Strong, weak, walker. Now with this kind of walker, you need to take an extra step forward, so you slide it forward. And now you're on level, so you can take your weaker foot, stronger foot, then you bring that walker up behind you as you reach for the rail. Same turn as before. So arching out this way a little, so that I can do a nice big turn. For going down, Walker will be in front of me. Both ways, if you notice, though, the walker is always lower than me. As I came up, it was lower than me. As I go down, it will be lower than me. Okay, so as you get to this point, bring the walker down, and I switch to these handles, a little closer. And again, I step down with my weak foot because it's protected by the walker, and then my strong foot. If I were doing non weight bearing, this hole would be just fine. Okay, so and you do those kind of patients. Yeah. If your patient is doing a four-point gait, maybe they have some balance or instability, and let's say they're using loft strain crutches, if they're doing four-point, that means both legs are equally involved, so there's not a strong leg and a weak leg. So don't try using the good don't have a leg because it won't work for this patient. Okay, so I'm using my regular gait pattern, crutch opposite foot, the other crutch past opposite foot, right up to the stairs. And then when I get to the stairs, this time what it's going to be is foot, foot, crutch, crutch. So either foot and then the other foot, either crutch and then the other crutch. So it doesn't matter which foot comes up first or which crutch, but it does matter that both feet come up before the crutches start. Foot, foot, crutch, crutch. All the way up. Okay. This patient does not have a strong leg or a weak leg, so it doesn't matter which direction she turns. Okay. She's going back to her normal walking pattern, doing a nice big arching, arching movement. Okay, close to the edge again, and then this time it'll be crutch, crutch, foot, foot. So the crutches go down first, so that they're there to protect when you have the feet landing on that stair. Okay, so either crutch, 